Are you interested in a photography tour of New Zealand? Well, in 2013, you Focus Photographical Services is conducting such a tour. It's not just a tour, it's a workshop as well, and it will be guided by myself, Digby Brown. It's a tour of the South Island, and goes for eight days, seven nights, from the 7th to the 14th of October, 2013. It will start in Dunedin and finish in Queenstown via Milford Sound. The cost includes your transportation, your accommodation and meals. It also includes entry into organised activities. What's not included is your airfares, drinks and adventure activities. So on day one, we'll meet your flight at Dunedin Airport, organise your transfers to the motel and we'll get together later for a greet and meet. Our groups only have a maximum of six people and this is to ensure that you get the most from the trip. Day two we have an early start as we photograph the Heritage train station in the early morning light. After breakfast we'll make our way into the peninsula to photograph an old castle which provides you with numerous photographic opportunities. In the afternoon we'll make our way up to the Mariki Bowlers. Here we'll have a chance to capture these amazing rock structures at the peak of the tide so we can create that foggy misty look around them. Day three is another early start where you will have another chance to photograph the fabulous architecture of Dunedin. It's then off to Bourbon Street, the world's steepest street in the world. You can either climb it or photograph it. That afternoon we'll board an old heritage train and enjoy the beauty of the New Zealand countryside as we make our way up to Victoria. Day four is a bit of a drive as we leave our motels for Tianu via Gore, which is the sister city of Tianu. On arriving in Tianu, we'll make our way up to the Kepler track and photograph a great suspension bridge and some of the New Zealand flora. Day five, we'll make our way up to Milford Sound. On the way, we will photograph snow-capped mountains, grass plains, and some great reflections in some amazing lake. We will stop at the Quirky Gun Camp, as well as have an opportunity to capture some images of the friendly Kiowa bird. At Milford Sound, we'll enjoy a leisurely cruise to experience its beauty. On the way back to Tianu, we'll stop off at some fast-flying rapids so you can capture some fantastic photographs of moving water. Day six, we head for Queenstown. Again, you will have an opportunity to capture some artistic images, heritage train stops, and photograph the Kingston Flyer. In Queenstown, there's opportunity to do some souvenir shopping, or we can just continue photographing. Day seven, we'll drive to Arrowtown, the Snowfields, Corona, and Puzzle World. This is where if you want, you can take a jet boat ride or bungee jump, and we can arrange that for you or you can just go there and take the opportunity to take photographs of these amazing adventure sports. That evening in Queenstown, we'll take a gondola ride to see the town's beauty at night. And finally, day eight. Unfortunately, this is the day we depart after being exhausted from taking so many photographs. We will arrange your transfers to your flights, or if you decide to stay on for a few more days, we'll arrange your transfers to your motel. For more information, jump on the web and go to ufocus.net. Once on our webpage, go to New Zealand 2013 and you'll find more details about the trip. Any questions, email us at mail at ufocus.net. And remember, there's only six positions on this tour, so book early to avoid disappointment.